Hey y'all, Ariel here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be turning myself into Morticia and I feel like this is my favorite Halloween look. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and use my got to be glued and we're gonna go ahead and smooth the brows down. Okay, I ended up doing them like pushing them upwards instead of sideways i could have done my natural brows but i wanted to be very much so extra and give morticia like this super glammed out look because she was that girl she started the whole middle part buzz down okay <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna smooth that out and i'm making sure to go in with at least two to three coats of this got to be and of course you want to make sure that you allow it to dry down because we are going to use some powder so boom we have it laid and slayed okay now i'm going to take my maybelline in the shade number five this is a white kind of like powder i wouldn't say this is a translucent powder because it's not it's more so of a finishing powder just like the number 35 and the number 40 that i use it's just a brighter color and i made sure to put that all over my brows and now i'm going to take my paint my p louise as well as my cc beauty and we're just going to go ahead and place that all around the brows now if you have thinner brows this would be easier for you but my brows you know they was peeking out little show and tail you know but we tried to camouflage as much as possible and i took a dry beauty blender and we just tapped that out i allowed it to sit first before blending just so it can mask my brow hairs a little bit better so we looking real crazy okay <laughs> but trust the process okay boom we got that and then i went in with some more of that powder from maybelline and we just set and locked that area in place boom so now for the face i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize with my kills ultra facial cream this is my favorite i ended up using a brush boom making sure that i moisturize this is basically going to be the barrier between the paints and my skin it's the same thing it's still makeup so we're still going to use that same routine and then now i'm going to take those two gray shades i wanted to make sure that i wasn't looking flat i wanted dimension in my face and honestly doing these makeup looks with the paints really showed me that i know a thing or two about makeup i know about dimension i know about color theory and i feel like i did really really good with all of my halloween makeup looks especially the ones where i am painting my face and things i didn't want to go white with this i didn't want a lot of controversy and things like that but i felt like with a vampire with a corpse it's giving like a gray hue you get what i'm saying so yeah we went for a grayish type of tone so i'm just gonna put this all over my face using this paintbrush and yeah it looks like i'm doing a mask <laughs> a face mask as if like i'm doing my skincare routine okay so now that i'm looking every bit of crazy i'm gonna go ahead and take a foundation brush we're just gonna tap 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 pet 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 swiper no swiping Okay, so once my face is blended, I'm going to take these two shades and mix them together to create my contour. As you can see, my face is super -de duper round, y'all. Like, my face is so round. <laughs> so, I have to add some dimension because Morticia was very much so snatched, okay? Like, she had dimension. She had that structure to her face, and I wanted my face to look the same. So, I put it all around my perimeter and as well as my nose and we're just gonna snatch everything up i don't want to look flat we want dimension we want the hues we want the different tones of grays and i will say using these face paints especially because they're oil based it takes a lot of patience okay it's not hard and they're very blendable it's just a simple fact of it being oil based so it's going to take a while to dry down and honestly it doesn't dry down until you actually set it so for the future, I will probably use the water activated paints. I wonder if I could use my water activated liners. I'm going to try it just to see what it would do. But I feel like it would crack being that I'm putting it on such a large amount of skin space. 
but anyways i'm gonna take my white paint as well as another gray paint and i'm just gonna add some highlights to my face this is basically a regular makeup tutorial we just have a different color <laughs> So now we got to lock it in place and I'm going to use that same powder from Maybelline. Tap, 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 pet, 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 swiper, no swiping. When it came down to adding this powder, I felt like it was a little stubborn. And I think it's the powder, not necessarily the paints. I also put some on my chest area, but I wasn't really focused and detailed on the chest. At this point, y'all, I was like, okay, Ariel is this going to come out right? I was getting a little skeptical and a little afraid because like the vision that i had i was like okay i'm not looking like what i envisioned but i kept going i kept at it and it came out so freaking dope y'all like this was one of my favorite halloween looks so to add some more dimension i'm gonna take my fruity cutie palette from airy winkle i used that white eyeshadow that's the shade pina colada and we put it under our eyes just to give me a more lifted effect to my face and then i use the white and the black to create a gray and we just locked the contour areas in place now when it came down to this part right here it was getting a little stubborn more stubborn than actually setting it um with the maybelline so as you can see, it's a little patchy, but I kept having to blend, 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 tap, 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 tap. And eventually everything just, it just went together. And honestly, I didn't really, I got frustrated a little bit, but not really to where I'm like, okay, I'm going to wipe it all off. I just wanted to challenge myself because again, this is one of my first times using the face paints and i was like i'm not good at this and i'm like i'm not gonna do it but i really challenged myself this entire halloween makeup series i guess you could say it's not necessarily a series i just wanted to put some content some creative content out for y'all and i feel like i really did a dang thing with this like this came out so freaking dope so yeah whenever you're getting frustrated with your makeup even if you're doing a natural look or if you're trying looks like this do not get frustrated just enjoy it have fun and even if it doesn't come out perfect at least you tried like this is me on the first try y'all but i had to build myself up to get to this level and the fact that like i'm only gonna get better like this is so inspiring to me like i inspired and motivated myself just doing these halloween looks because like now i know i have more under my belt i'm more capable of doing extras you know <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and do the cut crease i used the p louise paint again and i just wanted this to be very glammed out y'all but still simple i feel like this was simple for the most part you know All right, so now that we have the cut crease laid out, I'm just gonna take some white eyeshadow and we're gonna place this all over. Tap, 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 pet, 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 swipe or no swipe it. It's not perfect and they are definitely not even. But we're gonna use our imagination, okay? Okay. <laughs> what's a glam without highlighter okay we're definitely putting it on our nose okay that's never gonna change i don't care who i am we're still gonna highlight the face okay because period <laughs> so now i'm gonna take my ruby kisses eye bling this is the liquid glitter liner 
and I just put it all around the cut crease and things like that so this part right here y'all I was like okay yeah I gotta really concentrate because I didn't want them to look rocky you get what I'm saying like how Tiffany eyebrows were I wanted Morticia's eyebrows to be more on the neater side okay like I purposefully made Tiffany's raggedy but Morticia, I wanted her to be very nice and sculpted. So I went in with the um, Baby's Got Black from Wet n Wild, that pencil. But then I went in with my Inglot gel liner because it made it easier to glide. Like I was literally drawing on top of my brows. So yeah, this is what I came up with. And I added a little bit more of the gray, well, the black and white eyeshadow to create gray, of course. And we just kind of smoked everything out a bit. I also chiseled and contoured my nose some more. Boom. And now I'm going to take the NYX Vivid Matte Liner and create my wing. This part right here was like the icing on the cake, basically. We have the hard stuff out the way. Now we're just dressing her up and really getting her looking like I'm um, that girl, okay? Morticia, where you at? I'm becoming her, okay? <laughs> and by the way, y'all, I did sculpt my brows with the paint again just to give that extra oomph because at first it was kind of giving square, like the basic eyebrow that I would normally do, but I wanted it to be different, you know? But anyways, I went in and we're just gonna do an extra little oomph to the wing, give her a very dramatic type of look, okay? A bat wing, if you will. Okay, so we're coming together slowly but surely. Now we're gonna put some mascara on to coat the lashes. And I will be using my Eerie Winkle lashes in the style Whoop the Whoop. They're very, very much so dramatic and fluffy. And I'm gonna take my Believe Beauty Caviar Liner to go ahead and line my lower lash line. Boom. I always say boom. Like my words never change in my tutorials, y'all. Like I'm always saying boom. I'm always saying okay. I'm always saying anyways. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna take the lip bar lip liner in the shade Straight Facts. And I also added some more highlight on my face. I know my camera is not in focus, y'all. It be trying to focus on me, but it don't be focusing on me. Like, ugh, it's so aggravating sometimes. But I took some of that face paint and put it in my hairline as well as my parting area. This is a closure wig and it actually came out really, really easy. Like all I did was put my hair shampoo on it and we was good to go. I let it sit for like five to 10 minutes and it came right on out, okay? And I just added some mascara to perfect the parting a little bit better. And now to add the lashes. Lashes just, it's gonna create the look, okay? It's gonna give that oomph to your face and it definitely gave morticia like i just can see myself being morticia and wearing whoop the whoop because look at that snatched okay now i'm gonna take airy winkles hot tamale this is the matte lipstick super bright and pigmented like come on why you ain't shot my website yet like i feel a type of way because you be watching my tutorials and stuff and you still haven't shot with your girl like everything is affordable i'm just saying okay and i took some of the believe beauty the caviar liner and i created this cute little ombre and cleaned everything up with the face paint just to give it more structure and y'all it's coming together like do you see the face oh yeah stop playing with me so now i changed my top and put this off the shoulder top one and it had a little little hanging thingamajiggies i got that top from fashion over and now to do my chest area y'all i was i was kind of dreading this part i'm not gonna lie i was because like uh it was just doing too much and honestly y'all if you guys wanted to do this makeup look not just for morticia you could do it for maleficent you can do it for um frankenstein's wife like it's endless possibilities when it comes down to like halloween looks like if you wanted to do those different characters you actually could with this same makeup routine just add your you know gadgets and gadgets and as far as my hands i was like you know what uh, -uh. so yeah <laughs> this is the completed look you guys this turned out so freaking dope like 
this by far has been my favorite makeup look of all time for real like three snaps in a twirl because your girl she did that okay i hope y'all enjoyed this halloween morticia inspired makeup look if you guys did give me a red heart down below and a vampire okay okay i'll see y'all in my next one bye y'all